Well, hello guys. Uh, good evening. My name is Phyllis Anderson and we are so excited that you are here. Um, I will just quickly give you a little background because you're going to hear from me first, um, but there are three other beautiful women that will be sharing their experience. Our focus group tonight, which I just want to share with you guys every Thursday night, same time, same Zoom link, we will be bringing you some super fun focused information about these products that you have either in your hand or you're here to learn a little bit more about. Um, but tonight's focus is menopause and middle age. And so maybe some of you are there in that, in that category and maybe some of you aren't quite there or maybe you're way past it. But here's the thing, we all know somebody that is in this age group. Um, so again, I'm Phyllis Anderson. My background is um, I've been a nurse for over 22 years. I've been in the healthcare industry for um, 28 years. And so I have seen a lot of health and wellness things. And so my story was at 41, I stopped having periods. And at 48 is when, thank the good Lord, I found Plexus. Uh, my sister-in-law, who is super fit, lives in Hawaii. Um, she's also an ER nurse. She is who I reached out to because I said, gosh, I'm doing everything. I'm working out. I'm healthy. I eat healthy. But I did love my sugar and wine. But I was putting on like weight pretty fast. And so um, I here's what else I was having. I was having hot flashes, um, brain fog, restless sleep. I could never sleep for more than like a few hours at a time or even a couple hours at a time. And I used to blame the discomfort on my mattress or my pillow. Um, I had chronic infections. And from a nursing perspective, I was like, gosh, darn it. I am that little old lady and I'm not a little old lady. Yet. And I'm having these chronic urinary tract infections. And we saw that all the time in the ER and it was kind of a revolving door. And I said, for five years, I had had a once a year infection. And so I was always on antibiotics. And because I was a runner, I had athlete's foot. Um, also struggled with sinus infections and then yeast infections because I get put on an antibiotic and sure enough, it's like not even days later, I would have a yeast infection. And so I just thought, this was all normal stuff. Um, but the stubborn weight, it's so funny. That is why I reached out. I literally thought the rest of the stuff was normal. Okay, I also struggled with IBS or irritable bowel syndrome C, which stands for constipation. And, as, and for a runner, that is not a comfortable thing to have. It's actually very anxiety provoking. Um, I also was struggling with libido. I just had no desire, could care less. And I thought, man, this is, this is it. I'm there. I'm in this old age category. And I didn't, in my brain, I did not feel old. My blood pressure was creeping up uh, just to outside of normal range. My cholesterol was always an issue. They were always looking at that, wanting to put me on medication. I was experiencing, experiencing some anxiety and sadness, wanting to just like isolate and hide in a room at five at 4 30 in the afternoon if I could just put on my jammies watch a show or just chill out drink my wine like that was my night and, and because my hot flashes were so bad when we would go out and I would have a beverage with my dinner with friends I would just I literally would pour sweat it would beat up on my face and I would need to use my napkin to handle that and people would ask me are you okay and so it was embarrassing. So I said, never mind, I don't need to do that anymore. And that was sad for me because I'm a very happy, exciting, um, adventurous type of person. And so I was losing myself. Um, the doctor, when I did go to see my OBGYN, which I, I have nothing against Western medicine at all, but here's what happened. It's I went and saw her, told her all these things. She said, you know, you can try lifting some weights for the weight loss. And not only was I running marathons and half marathons, but I was cross training at the gym. And then when I was at the gym, it was one to two hours. I was getting plenty of exercise. So I felt like she didn't even hear that. Um, I, um, oh, the hot flashes, she said, you know, we could put you on, um, sorry, hormones, and, but it'll just maybe, she said, maybe take away the hot flashes, but it will definitely make you gain weight. And so, of course, that is, not something I was interested in. Um, and she also mentioned that because I was already through menopause, it had been seven years, she said it actually puts you at higher risk for cancers. And so the answer was no. And I left there just feeling pretty 
disgruntled and sad. Um, but that's when I reached out. My sister-in-law, who had done the research, had just ordered the products herself, was telling me, like, I think this might be the answer for you. So when I said yes, I had no idea that would cause and address the three pillars of health. I used to think candida was hippies and such believed in it. It's real guys. Google it. <laughs> candida yeast overgrowth. Google that because that was at the root of all those chronic infections I was talking about. I had candida yeast overgrowth. I also did not have good blood sugar control because I told you I had a sugar, um, but also my wine. And so um, balancing those blood sugars, reducing inflammation, because when we bring glucose or insulin levels down, our inflammation goes away. So here's what I noticed. I'm going to go through it really quick. My sugar cravings gone at day four. The wine cravings took a little bit longer because that was definitely a habit. Um, but I was really happy to say that the money I saved between my sugar and my wine was way, way, way more than these products have ever cost me. I lost 27 pounds in six months, and it took me only two years to gain that. I knew there was something off with my hormones. Um, so that was exciting because I was at the point of just saying, gosh, I'm just older. I have menopause, like I'm in menopause. And this is what happens. You gain that stubborn belly weight, right? That's, it doesn't have to be that way. That's the exciting news of hope I have for you here. Um, and again, because our, our products balance blood sugar levels, insulin is really what we're balancing or bringing back into normal range. It's a master hormone. And so when it's balanced, all our other hormones fall into place, including our thyroid and anything else in the endocrine system, because they all produce hormones. Okay. So when our bodies use glucose efficiently, you'll experience a boost in energy, which allowed me and my husband to say goodbye to our coffee pot. And that was another thing. We were drinking a lot of coffee. A lot of coffee isn't good on your adrenals or on your intestinal lining. <laughs> so my gut began to heal. My leaky gut went away. Um, some skin issues that I had went away. My son's cystic acne went away. I know we're here for menopause, but just had to mention that because it was pretty amazing. Um, so that boost of energy was amazing. No stimulants involved. My brain was happy. Um, energetic, happy Phyllis was back. I found myself again. Um, because our gut is responsible for 90% of serotonin and melatonin, 70 to 80% of immune system. Um, it's one of our major ways that our body gets rid of excess estrogen and toxins. Um, but this is why my mood came back, my sleep restored, and any sickness that I have had, including things that have been going around, it's been an ease and a breeze and I recover quickly and there's no long-term effects. So I do have to say that, you know, when you fix your gut, you're going to watch a lot of this stuff just um, switch or go back to normal. So um, my husband and I have been married for 35 years, and I do have to say that sexy time is still sexy because <laughs> I did say libido was an issue. Well, it's not an issue anymore. And I think both of us are happy about that. So um, that's all I have to say. I actually could say a whole lot more, but we have a you know time frame here. And I want to pass it off to Lori. Lori is a great friend of mine. She lives close by. She's an entrepreneur. She's actually a millionaire, seven-figure earner. And um, she's got four kids. She's got grandbabies. You would not believe it when you see her. Can't wait for her to share her story. I'm going to just turn the time over to you. Love you, friends. Thanks for coming, guys. Thank you. What a fun event. This is like one of my favorite topics. Um, so I'm going to tell you my story, but first I want to, I'm honored to be able to tell you that um, midlife and menopause and, you know, I am 53. I'll be 54 next month. I am a mom of four. I'm a grandma of eight and I feel amazing. And I'm so happy and so excited about this event tonight. And we even have somebody on here that's 71 and thriving. Um, and I'm excited about it because before I started this gut health journey, I was at a place where I had come to terms with getting older. I was slowing down. I love health and fitness. I've been a fitness instructor for years and very active. And I was noticing that 
I just wasn't recovering from my workouts as, as well. And I just couldn't find that internal push and drive. And that was making me sad. <laughs> um, I also had my last two kids back to back at an older age. And you can't call it baby weight anymore when your youngest child is seven years old. Um, and that's where I was. And because I'd been into health and fitness and super into nutrition and all of that, I, I didn't expect to ever find myself at that place where my body wouldn't cooperate and all the healthy things that I knew to do um, were no longer working for me. But I came to terms with it and I was like, okay, this is what getting older is. You just have to age gracefully even though um, it was a rough transition. And I'm so grateful to my daughter because she introduced me to this product line that I've been on for nine years now that has so improved, even despite everything that I was doing. And one of the things that people like to say is you come to Lori's house, you don't recognize the food in her kitchen, even her cheese is made out of coconut oil. And that's true. <laughs> and so I was doing all the other things, but this was just one of the pieces um, in helping myself that was missing. And so this, this idea and this misconception that I had that this is just part of normal aging and how you have to feel was completely not true. And so that's why I'm excited to be here tonight because I think this is a really important concept to be able to get through to people is that aging can be fun. Like you can feel amazing. You can feel, I'm, I'm looking forward to 60. I'm looking forward to 70. I'm even looking forward to 80 um, because we have the help of these products. Um, and I see somebody on here today, Kathy, her 90 eight-year-old mom introduced her to these products and is doing really well. Um, so yay for the 90s too. Um, so what has happened for me is I've always had to baby my digestive system. Um, that's part of why I was so into nutrition. And um, I'm at a great weight. I've lost 40 pounds and kept it off over the last nine years with the help of these tools and kind of hacking your microbiome. So there's one strain that I just want to mention that we are able to help support, um, and that is called Acromancia. It's been referred to as the fountain of youth. It's supportive to your gut health. It's supportive to the aging process as well. Um, anything that's called the fountain of youth is a friend of mine. And so I take classes now and do, do fitness activities with women in their 30s. And I love the energy that I have. I love the way that my body recovers. Um, I don't have cravings. I sleep well. Um, sailed and continuing to sail through menopause. Um, and just looking at this whole aging journey as more of a very fun experience just to just see how well I can thrive. Um, so before Plexus, I was not sleeping well. I had the extra weight, I was sluggish, tired, not recovering, and now I am just thriving and super excited for the future. <laughs> so, um, so that's my story, great digestive system, love how it helps my mood, uh, all the things. And so, um, so I am so honored to introduce, um, I forgot her name, sorry. <laughs> Vicky. Uh, Vicky, 71 and killing it. I can't wait to hear your story. I think you're muted. There we go. Um, I just got home from a football game and I was stopped in the parking lot as I was leaving by this gorgeous 40 something woman who asked me what I do to look so good. She asked me if I use Botox. So of course I told her about our skincare line. So I, and I also friended her on Instagram, but uh, I tell you that not to brag, well, maybe a little bit to brag, but I tell you that to illustrate the point that most postmenopausal women will tell you that they feel like they're dried up, like, dried up from the inside out. And I don't feel that way at all. And I think that illustrates that I don't look dried up. So um, I started on these products eight years ago, I think. And um, I was just looking for weight loss. 
I thought I was in perfect health. I uh, was the highest weight I had ever been, uh, like even in pregnancy. And I had just done a crazy HCG diet to, uh, you know, it was drastic and it wrecked my metabolism. I lost some weight, but it cost me more than that. And my daughter was the one that told me about Plexus. I only started it because she asked me to. But within a month, uh, I was with my sister-in-law uh, when she grabbed a, a menu and started fanning her face. And I realized that, oh my gosh, I haven't had a hot flash in a month. Um, I had a 44 ounce Diet Dr. Pepper addiction. I would get one every single day on my way back to work. And one day I just forgot to get it. And I've never had another one since then. I was a closet chocoholic, didn't or whatever. So after I realized, I found out that I had some health issues going on. I was pre-diabetic. I had adrenal fatigue. Um, that was getting worse. I had, um, like I said, the hot flashes and the, you know, sweet thing addiction. So very quickly, I began to see some things. I didn't see a fast weight loss in the beginning. So my body had a lot of balancing to do to get there. But um, I don't know, within the first year, I'd lost around 30 pounds. So um, if you don't know what postmenopause is, it technically means that you have gone 12 consecutive months without having a period. And your estrogen and progesterone production has completely ceased. Now, doctors told me, and they'll tell you, that the symptoms like hot flashes and those other things will last one to two years. I'm gonna call BS on that. Uh, they can actually last 10 years and even longer. And there are some serious consequences with this total change in your body. So I didn't know it at the time, but as I took the products, they became preventative for me to prevent osteoporosis, which is a high risk after you have gone into menopause, to uh, prevent breast cancer, which goes up after menopause, to prevent thyroid issues, uh, which increase after uh, menopause, uh, heart that disease way. that increases with uh, after menopause, um, and adipose tissue. When you don't have estrogen, your, your body increases the adipose tissue, which is basically the fat that we get around the middle that surrounds our organs, and it's really, really dangerous. So I began to look at all of these things as being preventative. And, um, you know, I don't know, within three to four months after I started the products, I was no longer pre-diabetic. My adrenals had uh, leveled out. I didn't have that horrible fatigue because I would come home from work take a nap on the couch. And after dinner at eight o'clock, I would fall asleep on the couch until like midnight. And then I'd wake up like the energizer bunny. So it was the um, no energy. And then this big flood of energy, I would have to set my alarm for like four different, you know, times, 15 minutes apart to be able to get up in the morning. So all of that changed for me. Um, I retired in part due to residential or uh, residual income, but um, I bought an RV. I travel in that RV uh, as frequently as possible. Uh, you know, one of the things that I associated with getting old was wearing the life thing around your neck, that button, you know, well, I'm not wearing one of those. I'm not afraid to travel by myself. I have made trips to you know, 1,500, 1,700 uh, miles long. But one thing that I really, really want to touch on is um, that one of the symptoms of postmenopause is um, it goes beyond brain fog to mental confusion. And that mental confusion 
can go into Alzheimer's. Women in postmenopause are two times as likely to develop menopause. They're twice as likely as men to develop menopause. And that is a passion of mine is educating people about the fact that we can prevent Alzheimer's, which is now known as diabetes three because of sugar and gut health. So I do feel like I'm rocking it at 70. I have no health issues at all. I feel great. And I think all of my labs prove that. And I don't feel shriveled up at all. So uh, one thing I do want to say, though, we have an ingredient in our microbiome balancing slim. It's butyrate. And I'm not a doctor, and I'm not going to try to go into all of the details about butyrate. But I will tell you that for women in postmenopause, that is key. So that's what I have to tell you. So now I'm going to hand it over to Brooke. Oh, my goodness. You just brought down the house for us, Vicki. Thank you so much. Can you guys believe she is 71? I still don't believe it, Vicki, that you're 71 because this woman has so much energy. She's beautiful. Um, I love how you shared how you're not afraid to travel and you're not afraid to live your life. And I wanted to share this picture with you because I wanted you to see all of our transformations. <clears throat> um, that's Vicki, if you can believe that in the upper left left hand corner. I mean, drop her some hearts or something in the chat. That's me over there <clears throat> on the right before and since plexus and then Phyllis down there on the lower left hand and we have two shots of Lori and the before shots you know she was a fitness instructor she was doing all the things and of course didn't look bad but you can see how much more toned and fit and she's always been that clean eater so pretty amazing what these products can do at any age for anyone yes Okay, so let me tell you my story. I have not gone through menopause yet. I'm 44. I have six kids ages four through 16. I have noticed over the last year and a half a change in my body, however. I can tell that in the next couple of years, my body will be changing. I can tell that if I don't care for my body, I put on weight easily. I can tell that if I'm under a lot of stress or not eating well, I put on weight a lot easier. For those of you, as you got older, did you also notice this? Did you notice in your 40s, in your 50s, that if you didn't eat well, if you didn't have good habits, that you could pack on five pounds over a weekend? Or is that just me? I thought, you know, maybe it's just me, but I think it's a common thing that so many of us notice. And I started noticing this about a year and a half ago. And so I really honed in on my supplements, being really consistent with all of the things that would help me. I have some favorites that I absolutely love for uh, middle age and as we get older. And I'm just going to list those out for you. Maybe Phyllis could type them in the chat. I feel like these are kind of essentials. Um, for us as we're going through menopause and getting older. The triplex, of course, and a couple of times people have mentioned microbiome activating slim. I believe also our collagen product. I don't know about you, but I would like my skin to look good and my hair and everything. And this is, you know, on natural me. I love how the collagen and the Joyome skincare has helped my skin. Also Ease and Mega X rich in omegas, rich in anti-inflammatory properties, and inflammation is a silent killer. It's also going to put on extra pounds, and it's going to contribute to some of those things that Vicki was talking about. Also, X Factor Plus, that was one of Phyllis's favorite products. It's got selenium and all these natural minerals that are going to help with hot flashes, night sweats, um, also your hair. My hair was falling out like crazy when I started Plexus. I'm also a huge fan of active as well. It increases nitric oxide production, which is going to help deliver more blood and oxygen to the body. Your husbands might also appreciate that. So anyways, those are some of my favorite products. I'm 44. As I said, I had my last baby when I was almost 40. I feel better now than when I was 24. And I really mean that. 
Before Plexus, I had pretty uh, a pretty strong a sweet tooth. And as Vicky mentioned, one of the leading you know causes of Alzheimer's or or those brain disorders is you know blood sugar imbalances, insulin resistance, right? That's why they're calling it type three diabetes. And so it is not a cute thing to be a sugaraholic. It is not a cute thing to be a wino. I'm not telling you you can't have a glass of wine. I'm not telling you you can't have a piece of birthday cake, but I am telling you it is not something to celebrate and it's not cute because it creates a lot of inflammation. And I had a candy cabinet in my kitchen that I would partake of after every meal. And even though I was eating good meals and good food and I was working out every day because I was a fitness instructor as well for over 20 years like Lori, and I looked healthy, my metabolism wasn't healthy. My energy wasn't good. I had slumps all day long. My moods were all over the place because when you have insulin resistance and you're riding that wave up and down with your blood sugars, your mood is also riding that wave. My microbiome was not super healthy. I had a lot of bloating. I had tons of anxiety. I had postpartum depression. I was kind of a wreck, like emotionally and energetically, but I could turn it on and I could pretend like I was fine. I think a lot of women do that. We pretend like we're fine. We show up like everything is good. And then privately in our cars or in our bathrooms or in our kitchens, we're crying or we're feeling terrible or we're wondering like Phyllis, well, I guess this is it. I guess I, I'm not going to enjoy being intimate with my husband. Even in my late thirties, that's how I felt. I felt like Phyllis felt like I had lost that desire. I emotionally, physically did not feel well. And so I feel so good heading into that next phase of my life, like Lori was describing, because it's like, I know I'm going to feel amazing. I'm going to be like dancing around the kitchen. Like I'm fitter. I'm more trim. I'm healthier. I, I've been able to maintain a healthy weight and our new product, the, the reset, the three-day reset has been incredible for me in that sense. I know for Phyllis as well. And I encourage anybody that's starting their journey to start with a reset. And so these products have been life changing for me, but I wanted to spend just a second touching on supplements in general. I know that before Plexus, I was super close to supplements. I didn't believe in supplementation. I believe you should just eat healthy and exercise. Many people, including my mom, when I introduced her to Plexus, who was 67, 68, she kind of thought it was hogwash. And I think a lot of people in their 40s, 50s, 60s and beyond do think that because we tend to have a mindset where we're just used to looking for medication, going to the doctors and getting a pill. And sometimes we do need a prescription. I'm not going to say there aren't times where you don't. But what most people don't know is that the food that we eat is not at all like the food that we ate 50 to 100 years ago. Put an amen in the chat if you already know this. Our food has been manipulated. Our food has been chemically and toxically altered. Pesticides, monocropping, overcropping, uh, all of the produce that you eat has been sitting in storage for six to 12 months. Okay, so when you take that produce away from the vine or out of the ground or pick it from the tree, you are essentially cutting it off from its supply of nutrients. So what happens when it sits in cold storage? It doesn't magically keep all of the nutritional value. In fact, so much of that nutritional value is gone. And so you can eat a beautiful diet rich in colors and vegetables and fruits, which I always recommend to people. I'm very big on eating real food, not processed food, real food, not, uh, not, um, you know, fast food. Right. And Lori's the same way. She's like the queen of eating real food. So we have to eat real food, but we have to understand that we still have gaps in the system. And that's where supplements come in. And I can say that because every single one of these women actually have, ha have had experience like, Hey, let me eat clean. Let me eat healthy. And that's going to fix it. And it didn't because that didn't fill in the gaps. And that's what supplements do. We also don't tend to eat in a super probiotic rich way, and we don't get all the digestive enzymes we need. And so supplements fill in those gaps. And for me, it was like watering a plant and watching that plant come to life. Like that's the best way I can describe it. And the truth is we're all gonna get older. 
but you do not have to get slower. You do not have to get heavier and you do not have to lose muscle mass and libido. Muscle mass actually in women does not start decreasing until somewhere in your 60s. If you are actively using your body, moving your body and participating in physical activity. Well, guess what happens when you feel better? When you have more energy, when you don't wanna eat like crap, when your digestion is good, you wanna get out and you wanna live like Vicky, you wanna move, you wanna walk, you wanna go take some Pilates, you wanna go lift some weights, you have more energy for life. It's what happened for me, it's what happened for each one of these women. So if you stay active with your body, if you put nutritious foods into your body, if you supplement well and you don't cheap out on yourself with the Walmart brand probiotic or, or the Costco vitamin that's not doing anything for you, if you choose bioavailable supplements and you take them on a regular basis and you take those basic steps in caring for your body, you can absolutely rock your 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. And that's what I want for me. And I know that's what we want for you. I'm going to turn it back over to Phyllis now. Ah, thank you so much, Brooke. I am learning so much from everybody here tonight. I hope you guys are too. Put a one in the chat if you've learned something new tonight. I'd love to see that. And um, so you guys, you don't need to fear menopause. You don't need to fear anything, right? We have control. We have control over lots of decisions that we make. We've given you guys a lot to think about tonight. Um, I love the reset. I'm going to just add on to what Brooke had to say about that reset. For me, um, I had had a couple surgeries over the last year. So my amount that I was exercising, my brain started to kind of go down. We've been through some things the last two years, right guys? So I started to put on some weight again, but again, just getting in the right mindset, um, getting this reset absolutely was a game changer for me. It, because what it did when you were on a three day fast, it makes your brain, you see your little saboteurs that are sneaking back in. Um, you start to feel good. And then that energy's back or um, maybe some brain fog that was creeping back in disappears. And it allows you to say, I'm going to make some changes, or maybe those little handfuls of chips that I was thinking were okay at nighttime. That's probably not good. And um, anyway, the reset just points that out. It just really exposes that, or it did that for me anyway, and let me make some of those changes. And again, some more weight came off, inches were lost, the puffy, fluffy feeling I was having after being on vacation gone. It was like a quick three day, just what it says, reset. So if you haven't tried that and um, you know, you're like, what is the reset? Talk to the person that brought you to this call tonight, because we have some great programs going on reset and our follow-up system, which I'm a huge fan of. I think everyone can start with the reset, get into a follow-up system that works for you, work closely with the person that brought you here. We, there's tons of support, tons of resources. We have more of these calls to come. And I just want to wrap it up with this quote. So when you have your health, you have everything. When you do not have your health, nothing else matters at all. That's from Augustine Burroughs. So we just thank you guys for coming. Have a great night. This video will be, it is recorded. So it will be available so you can share it. Excited to see you guys next week.